Hello everyone. Oh gosh, aren't we busy today? Um, right, on uh, YouTube we have um, Sharon and Wendy and Sharon again and Andrew and Colette and Shelley, hello, and Evelyn and uh, Margaret. I'm very good, thank you very much, Margaret. And Yvonne, Jane, Joanna, Carol and Sue and Sally and Kathy and Megan, Sheila and Jackie and Kristen and Susan. And, oh sorry if I miss anybody, and Kathy and Maria and Dominica and Zakaya, hello, I'm fine, thank you darling. Uh, Julie and Linda and Jennifer and June, who we've got on Facebook. Um, Angela, Patricia and Melissa, and Sheila and Cheryl and Sue and Debbie and Pamela and Sally. So I can, I'm, I'm reading the book of, oh, I'm good, thank you Sarah, how are you? Um, I'm reading the book of children's names at the moment, are there? Julie and Laura and Elaine and Darren and Nita and Diane, hello. From Massachusetts, you have a creation craft parcel on the way to you, do you not? Um, hello, Martha. Hi, Alan. Doing good, thank you. Hello, Christine and June and Elaine. Had a nice day today. Um, I was interviewing um, Paul Wright, who's the chairman of uh, Creation Craft, with Alan and Barry, who were the first ever um, suppliers and guests or, or part of Creation Craft when it first launched 20 years ago. Um, so, yeah, it was. Oh, thank you, Jean. Um, so yeah, it was, a, a, it was a nice morning. I haven't seen Alan for maybe 14 years and Barry was a bit longer than that. So, uh, no, the other way around, sorry. Barry about 14 years, Alan was a bit longer than that. Is my sound wrong? I think my sound's fine. Um, I, I, I might be you, Sue. Anybody else got a problem with my sound? If you have, can't do anything. I'm afraid. I can't do anything. Um, thank you, Jane. This is an old one. Um, oh yeah, we try to get them out as quick as we can, Susan. So thank you, thank you to everybody for all of your support over the weekend. We had such a busy weekend on Create and Craft. Everything we sold was on a five-day dispatch because we know how long it's going to take to get these orders out. Um, but we've got most of them. We've got most of them done. I think the last of the orders should be going out Friday or Saturday this week. Um, but thank you. Very quiet voice very quiet but I can speak up I can see if I can turn the volume up a little bit is that better I'm almost I'm almost going into the red zone now so better not put it up anymore uh, I'm muffled oh 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 Here's my microphone. I hadn't clipped it on. Um, I tell you what, have a look at my fancy sewing machine for a second. Well, I just put this on. Sorry about the sorry about the rustling and all of that kind of stuff. All a bit of a rush today. There's my fancy sewing machine. That should be better now. How's that? Um, hi, Chris. Sewing coin. I'll turn my vo I'll turn my volume down now then before I deafen everybody. <laughs> Literally, honestly, I've got, um, <laughs> thank you, Sheila. Glad we're okay. I was talking to you from my cleavage, don't you know? <laughs> Always a little bit muffly down there. Very loud now. Yeah, cause, oh, very loud. Let me turn you down again then. Should we just start all over again? That's better, isn't it? Honestly. Uh, Alan's making a Union Jack, a uh, Union Fly teddy bear for the coronation. Nice. Oh yes, but <laughs> thank thank you, Sarah. I thought I thought that was the best way to do it. A lot of a lot of rustling, but you don't want to see what was going on there. <laughs> um, hello, Olive in Pennsylvania. Glad I brought a smarty face, Colette. A lovely day in Northern Ireland. It's lovely here. Lovely, lovely. A bit windy, but nice and sunny. I have have sat in the garden. <gasps> Ruby, Coco. Oh, they're going to fight now, aren't they, Linda? Oh, sorry, Linda. Um, Ruby's enjoy um, Ruby. Bobbin's enjoying the sunshine. Sally's making wonky beach bags. Oh, hello, Lisa. Hope everything's okay. Um, send me an email later. Let me know. G give me updates. Let me know what's going on. Wisconsin is rainy. <laughs> I know. I've, I've been banned from less. I, I played um, a little bit of uh, an Instagram post on my phone and got banned for it. I, it, it was only music. That was all it was. Um, talking to you from my cleavage. <laughs> That's going to get me banned as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Just spend my dog run over to the window. Oh, sorry, Sharon. Uh, can I let you know I received re recent one-day special but wrong fabric in it? Oh, really, Beverly? 
I tell you what, don't go through Create and Craft because they'll take forever. If you um, drop me an email on, on my website email address, enquiries at debbieshawsewing.com. If you go to the website, you'll see the, the address on there. And, and let me know, and I'll send out the right one and send a postage, um, uh, a returns envelope for the wrong one. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it, it's if, if you do have any issues like that, from anything to do with Create and Craft, then come to me first, because it's it's a lot quicker to sort out than going to Create and Craft. Not, I'm not criticising, but, but by the time you've gone through their customer service and they come to me and then I go back to them and then they come back to you, you may as well just come to me. Um, what's the item you steam your fabric on? I've got a few. I've got a few. This is the one that I made. Was it in a live stream or was it for YouTube? I think it was on live stream, wasn't it? On, I know it was on the 2nd of January, but I can't remember what year. I have a feeling it was 2021, but I can't remember. And um, Oh, I was just about to put this in, in my machine, Biz. Um, otherwise, I use a little one which is still in my bag at the moment, um, which I bought. We do have them on the website as well. Have a look there. And um, here else. Sarah sent you my post. Thank you. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sue. Been quite around some flowers. Not my best stitching, but enjoying the try. It's not about it's not about always the result. It's about the process and about enjoying it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so anyway, thank you, Amanda. Um, yeah, this morning it was really nice. I haven't seen the guys for a long time. You know, they haven't changed very much at all. Um, Alan's in a wheelchair now, he's, in, he's got chronic pain, but uh, he's still got the same silly laugh and the same sense of humour. He's got a lovely dog, he brought the dog in as well. And um, yes, I did bring my iron back and I brought it back and left it in the house. But yes, I have. I did. Oh, hello, Solveig. I hope I pronounced that right. Bobbin is good, thank you, Helene. Well, no, I should say she's good, she's limping on a, on a foreleg for some reason, so no walks for her today, but she's sitting outside, I can see her shadow in the sunshine. She's walking very quickly behind the chickens at the moment. She doesn't chase them, she's just very interested, but if she walks quickly, they walk quickly. I think she kind of likes that, she, en she enjoys that. Um, hello, Christine in Western Pennsylvania. And it is waiting on friend flight from London. Um, hello, Cynthia. Uh, I think I think we're all up. To, I think we're all to take that. Um, is that you? Like a load of chocolate on your biscuit? Oh, talking to each other. Right. With um, so I'm, I'm bashing on about that weekend on Crate and Craft because it's the first time we've ever done a one-day special, and it was a, a little bit nerve-wracking and a huge investment, which always makes me very nervous because if things didn't sell, we're just stuck with a whole load of stock. Um, but they did. So thank you, thank you for your support there. Um, they do have, we, we, we had a, we had a chat and um, the one day special is supposed to be a 24 hour offer and it was um, a postage free over the weekend as well, but they do still have some stock on the website of the one day special. It's not PMP free anymore, but it's the same price. Um, so if you go to uh, creationcraft.com, it's the, it's, it's the one with these panels. So there's either lemons or highland. I'll, I'll show you what you get because it's quite a bundle. It's all of this look. And in here, shall we open one? Let's open one up. That'll need, that'll need a new bag, but there you go. Um, we don't have stock of this on the website. We will be having some stock at some point, but it won't have the fleece in it. I think we'll just do the uh, the panel and the instructions, but there's the panel and there's your contrasting fabric and there's the Bosal thermal fleece and you've got instructions. There's a lot of instructions. <coughs> so you can make the apron, a pot holder, a tea cosy and a peg bag. No, there's more than that. Um, tea cosy, pot holder, apron, peg bag. I thought there was more than four. That one. An oven mitts. What's the oven mitts one then? 
I'm going to pull that one out. There's a page missing from it. That should have oven mitts in it as well. So there's apron, oven mitts, which are these. And tea cosy and the peg bag. There's a Highland one behind me there. So those are what you get in the instructions. They're good, aren't they? Um, yeah, so that's those. And the choices are either the lemons or the Highland. You get the same deal. You get a lilac fabric in the lemons one. Uh, sorry, in the Highland one. But we've got a problem with this thermal fleece. The stock that Crate and Craft have. Basically, the fleece is free. When you work out costings of everything, for the one-day special, which is a little bit more like a one-week special, um, the, the fleece is free. We can't get hold of any more of the fleece at the moment. It comes on... Oh, Anita. I'll have a word in a second. Um, it comes on... What was I talking about? Oh, it comes from America. And um, it's going to take quite a while to get here at the moment, so we can't get hold of any more. Um, couldn't join the Harvey Yard Club as it wouldn't accept postcode. That's a bit odd, Anita. Could you email the team? Um, I don't. I don't run the. Um, be within a second, Linda. Um, I, 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 I do creative and projects and stuff like that. I have a whole team down at Search Press that actually run the website. So if there are any issues, could you possibly email them? It's info at halfyardsewingclub.com. It is on the Half Yard Sewing Club website, so if you if you drop them an email, they should be able to sort that out for you. How to do the oven gloves? That's really odd, Helen. How strange. There wasn't any in that one either. Must must have words. Um, if you drop me an email again, it's enquiries at debbyshawsewing.com. We'll make sure that those are sent out to you, okay? Um, or if you want a um, just a JPEG, um, then let me know and that, that'll be instant. I can just email you the instructions if that's easier for you. So Linda just got my parcel from Ready to Craft Highland one. Love it. Don't suppose you could do a panel with just the four fabrics, please. And oh, oh, I see. Oh, the panel without the cosy in the mitts. Not sure, Linda, because uh, um, it would mean a complete redesign and we a pay a designer to do that and then we'd have to have the fabrics printed all over again. So I'm not, I'm not sure about that one. I'll do the sums and get back to you. Oh, Kelly's oven gloves instructions are missing as well. We, we sent the, we outsourced these to be packed and they should have had four pages of instructions in them. So, um, Crate and Craft just arrived. Oh, lovely, Karen. So if, if yours hasn't got the oven mitts instructions, then please email me and um, Thank you, Mary. I'm glad you like that. And then the, the, the easiest thing is just to email you the instructions. But if you want them sent out in the post, then let me know and we'll, we'll do that as well. Okay. Um, but again, oh, Beverly, missing from yours too. Oh, gosh. Need to have a word with our packing company, don't we? Um, but the missing instructions on the Half Yard Sewing Club for members. June, I might put them on, on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website because this wasn't a Half Yard Sewing Club project. It, it was um, a Daisy Lane, which is me and Kim. So we could put those on the website if that's OK. Are you OK to have those as downloads for everybody that's missing them? I'm sure they're, they're not all missing. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll put them on the website as a free download so you can just download those. Um, some sites are postcode sensitive. Put a space between the numbers. That, that's a good, good advice. Uh, Mary says, good afternoon from a sunny Loch Lomond. I didn't get to watch often on Wednesdays. I was chuffed to have my email read out and create and craft. Yeah, thank you to everyone that emailed in. There were loads of them. And, um, oh, Kelly, yeah, I'll put them up on the website if that's all right. Um, all right, because I, 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 I can't put them on the Half Yard Club website. I don't actually manage the website, but I can put them on mine. No, it doesn't, Debbie, unfortunately. Um, I'm, I'm not in control of anything that Create and Craft do, but I did have a question about free postage to the States um, when they do free postage, and I was told no, it's UK only. I don't think they explain that well enough, to be honest, but um, that's, 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 that's their problem. Um, Karen's got parcels from Create and Craft, lovely. 
um, did you get a lot of horse? We did, Laura, a few hundred. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm so pleased about that. I mean, is anybody watching now somebody that became a new member after Create and Craft? And I, I can't stress enough, that was a, a one-off, um, basically a drive to get new members to the website. It worked. We've got hundreds of you. So thank you so much and welcome along if you are one of the new members. Um, but it's the, the, the main reason for doing it is so that we can keep the price down. We're coming up for five years now on the Half Yard Sewing Club and we haven't increased the price at all over the last five years and there's more and more going on the website and we've got extra staff running it on the search press end as well. But we really want to keep that down. So, um, so thank you for your support in that respect. Um, hello Rosa, hi to you uh, from Connecticut. Um, Susan was disappointed, bought the Highland panel on Friday and have a cigarette. I didn't really, Susan, to be honest, um, so, so I don't, um, I don't have anything to do with prices or anything like that on Great and Craft. I was just told that the, um, the one day special would go live on Friday night. I didn't realise that they wouldn't drop the price until Saturday morning. So Susan, what I would do if I was you, send it back. Send it back when you get it, get your money back and reorder it because it's still on there now at the one day special price. So I know it's a bit of a faff, um, but I'm, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, just, I, I, I was just told it would be available on Friday night. Um, Alan's been a member for five years and love it. Thank you. Lovely woman in the south of France says Michelle. Mindy says it's the best club in the world. Thank you. Hi, Leslie. Um, Chara says I became a half yard club but need to use the code. We oh, haven't used the code yet. Well, welcome along. You can use that whenever you like. I don't think there's a time limit on it. Um, PJ Myers Contents New Home. No, not yet, Laura. No. Uh, only one PJ is going, and it's the one where his PJs were too short. So I'm, I'm letting him go. They didn't give me the names of the winners. I've actually got to go back and watch the programme all over again and, and figure out who the winners are. Um, but yeah, th they will. If, if you've won any of the prizes that, that um, we were giving away over the weekend, I'm afraid they won't be in your order. They'll be sent out separately when I've got time to sit and watch the shows back. Um, oh, hi, Olive. Hello, Helen in Dublin. Brenda in Kentucky. Hello to you, too. Glad you like the panel, Helen. Um, excellent value for money, says Jean. Thank you. I, th I think so. Um, I don't look around and see what other people do. Maybe I should check out the competition every now and again. But from what I've seen from other websites, I mean, they're, they're all great value for money and they all offer something different. And I think that's amazing. But I think our price is incredible for what you get, considering that you get two years worth of projects. We don't take them down after a month or six weeks or six months like some do. We take them down after two years and then bring some back anyway. So if you want to have a look, by the way, if you're, if you're new to us and you're wondering what on earth we're talking about, have a look at the Half Yard Sewing Club, halfyardsewingclub.com. Because when you go to the website, you can see all of the projects that are on there. You can't see the instructions, you can't download them, but it does give you an idea of what's on the website and whether you think that it's going to be something you'd like to join in with. Um, seeing some issues. Not been doing much, although glad it was successful. Yeah, it was good, thank you, Lisa. Don't worry about missing them. Um, yeah, send, send me an email later. Keep me updated. Oh, go on, Anne. Oh, go on. Ellen says that uh, half your same club is the best money I've ever spent. Thank you, Mandy. Next month, oh no, I'm doing this at the moment. I'm late. I've missed my deadline. I'm in trouble with me editor. And she wants it by Friday morning. She's not like that at all. She's not like this. Emily is very sweet, but I am a week late with this. Um, we're going to be doing um, confetti quilting, and I've been having loads of fun with it. So I thought, what we do? Because I've I've been trying lots of different ways of doing it, um, and doing samples using each one. Then I've got a favourite, and then I'll make a project out of that. But I'm still at the stage where I've got a favourite, and I do have some. Um, samples hanging on the washing line outside trying to dry at the moment because I've been using dissolvable um, stabiliser. So, yep, I'm having loads of fun this week. Um, no competition, Debbie, so I wouldn't waste your time. H uh, HYSC is the best full stop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Sharon's in city. Oh, talking to each other. Mm. 
Um, is she soon enough to find themselves to test her soon? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, what I thought I'd do... Oh, I want to show you this, by the way. Um, we do have this, I think. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Just a second. What have I done there? There we go. Um, we have the Cassia, or is it Cassia? I don't know, panel on the website right now. Literally just gone on. So this was launched in the last show. You will get four squares, by the way. I don't know why that's chopped in half at the bottom. There are four full squares. I think I, think I took the end of the roll by mistake. Um, and the, again, these are still on Crate and Craft. On Crate and Craft, you'll have the, uh, the panel, the contrast gold fabric, and two meters of green piping, and instructions to make two different styles of cushion covers. We've got the panel on its own on the website. If you just want the panel, then that's, that's there right now. And this is it. So these are taken from um, a botanical book, actually, that was made in the 1800s. I can't remember the date. It is on your instructions. There's a little bit of information about it there. And there are four different panels that have been designed to make uh, cushion covers, but on the website you just get the panel on its own so you could make a bag, you could quilt it, you could make table runners and table clothes, you know, you make what you like with it, you don't have to make a cushion cover. Um, the quality of the fabric, this is a different company that we use and the quality is absolutely amazing and the colours really really pop and I don't have I got it down there. I just brought everything back from Crate and Craft and I've got bags and bags full of samples over there and I can't see this one. That is an amazing just hold the loan a moment while I just look over there. I do have an amazing quilt. Have another look at this while I just go and take a look. Um, that one of my design team made. If I've got so many lovely samples, you wouldn't believe. So that's one. Those are the cushions. Oh, Janice, yours is packed away somewhere. If you're watching, I wanted to show all of them. Should have got these out earlier, shouldn't I? What's in there? Oh, that's Janice's. Oh, and that's, hang on a minute. Are you still looking at that fabric? It's lovely, isn't it? And that's Jackie's, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this is a bag that Jackie made. And I thought this was really clever. So it is puffed out a bit with, uh, with bubble wrap, um, just to give it a nice shape when it was on TV. She's embroidered all of this with chain stitch look, and it makes the whole thing look like a piece of applique. So that is the same as that, but this is just makes the whole thing just really, really pop. It's a huge bag. Um, where's the little one she made? Isn't that amazing? So that's one thing, you know, you don't have to make cushion covers, you can make other things with it. This is the quilt that, um, just to get this the right way around to show you. This is what Ginny made. And this is using both of the panels. So we do have both of them on the website now. We've got the, the red one, which is the uh, chrysanthemum, and the yellow one, which is the cassia. cassia. And she's added some of the olive um, Mystic Vine Blender, and she's got the white on white swirls as the backing and of the back the back of the quilt as well. And she's used the Mystic Vine as um, as binding there as well. So isn't that amazing? Amazing job, Ginny. Thank you very much. Um, well, let's do that. And then this one is the quilt that Janice made. And do you see how she's embroidered the butterfly in the bottom corner? Isn't that really pretty? And she's used the same fabric for binding on this one. And the backing fabric is the Mystic Fine Swirls on that one. So, yes, they've done a lovely job. So just to show you, you don't have to make cushions out of squares. There's lots of things that you can do. Um, they are, aren't they, Amanda? They're, they're really lovely quilts. Hello, Carol. Afternoon to you. Um, we do have talented peeps 
Sarah, you're right. Yes, Laura, exactly the same size. And it's a very similar idea with the, um, the kind of slightly out of focus type behind there and the black and white panel in the bottom. So they, they do match very well together. And I have been looking at the software that my daughter uses for design. And I have spotted some more on there, but it may be, it may be a while, but they, they go really nicely together. Um, so yeah, if you have a look on debbieshawsewing.com, they should be on then now. It is rosa, isn't it? It's a beautiful quilt. I don't have instructions or anything. I send these, um, I send pictures of what we're doing to the girls um, and just say, do you want to make something? And then they come up with all of these amazing designs. So, you know, that's, I, I do have a, an incredible team. I uh, treated myself to DX7 at the weekend. Oh, Amanda, congratulations. You're going to love it. Was that from Crazy and Crafts? I, I think I think they were doing a deal on it. I was told they were launching a new machine. But I didn't have that. I didn't have that. Um, hello, Patricia in w WA. What's that? What's, what's WA? Oh, in the high 50s today. I dream of it being in the high 50s. Mm. I know it's not everybody, but um, yeah. Uh, out of sync at first. I was out of sync at first. Look, Laura suggested and go back 10 seconds and it worked. Oh, okay, Olive. I'd, I'd, I've, I've got my microphone down my top. That's what I was doing at the top of the show. Um, Washington. Oh, right. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Jenny says, I wish I could quilt. They are good. Um, Amanda says, I was watching you this morning from 11 years ago doing a bowl using cordon material. Oh, Amanda, that was a long time ago. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, hello. Uh, Avis for the first time in British Columbia in Canada. Welcome along. We had a f have a few Avises in our family. Uh, quilting I don't have a quilting class, I'm afraid, Rosa. No. Uh, June says 327 watching and 57 had thumbs up. Go on. Go on, give us a thumbs up. Oh, right. Thank you, Sarah. Um, right. Chrysanthemum panel. I don't know if you're watching, Kim, but I'm texting you anyway because we have stock of that, I know. Um, Cre than Mum, I, I haven't spelled that right. Panel is out of stock. Could you? I sound like um, that fish talking to whales in the cartoon. I do put some back in, please. Dory, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, hello, Glory in Seattle. Um, even if watching on TV. Oh, can you? you? Apparently, you can still thumbs up if you're watching on TV, says June. Didn't know that. Nicola made a pyramid pouch bag at the weekend. Um, oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Hello, Susan. Just made it. I haven't done anything yet, Stacey. We're just talking. Um, I, was, I was just going to be a little bit... Mm, what's the word? prepared don't don't normally make anything on a wednesday but um i've got i didn't do any demos over the weekend did anybody notice because um we had so much in the show there was no time and so many products there was no room to fit me a table in the sewing machine so i didn't make anything um just keep swimming 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 um says lisa sorry if you're on facebook you'll have no idea why i just came out with that um right so I was going to make a little bag just to hang over the back of a door. So I got everything prepped and ready to do it and then never got round to do it. Uh, Julie noticed, I know. <laughs> no, there was just uh, so much to talk about over the weekend. We had so many products on there. I mean, you, you can confetti quilting competition. Yes, Deirdre, that will be, um, it, a confetti quilting is going to be the main project for next month. So that will be out on the 1st of May. Just need to actually do it. So I've been playing with it all week on and off, but I've been had quite a, quite a busy week. Um, but it will, I, I, yeah, that will be on the 1st. I've got to finish it by Friday, I've been told. So this is what I was going to make. So I'm going to quilt a little bit of it. What I've done on the panels is where the two side pieces overlap. So I haven't sewn these together. I've simply cut this out 
of the actual panel as it is. So you could do this with a Highland panel as well. And I've cut 15 inches by, sorry, 13, 13? 13 across and 12 and a half down. And the same for the lining. And then two pieces for the handle. One of these will need to be cut down. The longest one is 19. The shortest one is seven. And those were three inches wide, I think. Or did I do four? I did three and a half. And then long size folded to the center and then pressed in half again. But I thought I'd, I'd quilt this because I think it'll look quite nice. And I'll do this in the same way as I did for the quilting on the sets. Um, I've left most of all of my tackle in my sewing box down at the house. So I don't even have a pen that I can make the marks to come up with. Must have something. Must have an erasable. There we go. There's always one here somewhere. Uh, oh, Jennifer, that's amazing. Have, 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 don't have a glass or two to celebrate. Have a bottle or two to celebrate. You go all out with that one. Um, I don't love Nigel's stories. Oh, Sarah. Uh, the thing is with Nigel, I, um, I, I have apparently known him for a long time. Because uh, he interviewed me, I think I said the other day, on... Um, on, on Children's ITV for Looking magazine in 1986. I don't remember. Somewhere I've got a copy of the magazine. I don't know where it is, but I've got a copy of it. And then when I started on I Do What, I think Nigel started about three years later. So we've been there, we've been there for an awful long time. We've become quite good friends. And yes, yeah, so there are some very funny things that happen on that channel. I don't know if it still does. I mean, I, I left there quite, quite a, a while ago as a presenter. Um, but I was thinking about it when I was so doing this interview with Alan and Barry this morning, and I thought, you know, um, they were hilarious, and they used to, well, Alan used to fall over a lot. Alan is the large one. Um, but he, he falls over in slow motion, and he goes with a heck of a bang when he gets down there. But I'd be doing something with, with Barry or one of the other guests, and we had windows at the back of the set, and he'd just walk past the window, just, just walk past the window for no reason whatsoever. But we did have, oh yes, he did have curly hair in 86, Lisa. Um, yes, I'll admit into this one. Apparently they're doing shows on Crate and Craft tomorrow afternoon on on the, the other channel. Not the main channel, the other one, I think. I think that's what they're doing. Um, oh, no, Mickey, oh, I've had that. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, that's happened to me on a couple of occasions. It's not nice when a car goes into the back of you. Oh, painful. I hope it's going to be all right. But no, I was thinking about, I'll tell you what I'm doing, and then we'll have a chat. So where the squares are on here, oh, this is going to take me ages. I'll do every other one. I just did a diagonal line through the squares and then straight across. So I'll do every other one so we're not here for an age. And they work out about one and three quarter inches apart. So when I get to the bit where there isn't, is it one and three quarters? Yep where there isn't the tile, then I can just carry on. I'll just do one side of this. It's, it's a storage bag, basically, so it's unlikely that anyone's going to see the opposite side of it anyway, so I'm just going to do that. And then turn it around and go back in this direction. So again, through the corners of the tiles and then back down this side. So that's that's all I'm doing, okay. Now I was thinking about some of the some of the products that we used to sell. Um, because somebody asked me what the first product I think it was Nigel asked me what the first product I ever sold was, and it was bedding. And I was so nervous. Because it's live TV, completely unscripted. Um and you know you know all about your products, but then when that light on the top of the camera goes red, you kind of forget about it. And all I kept saying was beautiful. And it was a beautiful quilt cover in beautiful fabric with a beautiful design. And this is going to make your room look beautiful. And as I was saying it, I was thinking, I, I don't say that. Why is this word beautiful? And fabulous is another one. I don't use the word fabulous, but oh, fabulous just kept coming out and coming out. It was really, really quite funny. Um, 
but I was thinking about some of the weird products that we used to sell. And, or not weird products, some of them were very useful, but funny products that, to have in shows. And one of them was, we were doing a mobility show, and I was an ambassador for you, yeah, mobility shows. My mum was disabled, so I know every you know, thing to help you turn the tops and pick up the kettle and anything with wheels on and things in the bathroom, that, that we, we had a house full of them. Um, so we had this, it was like a raised toilet seat, so you sat it on top of the toilet seat, but it was about that big. And there's, there's nothing funny about a raised toilet seat, but on the list of information that we have about products as a presenter, um, there's you know the, the, the unique selling points and why would you want to buy this and is it better value anywhere else and all this kind of thing. And then there's a little bit about the demonstration and it said, item to be demonstrated by presenter. I think it was a copy and paste from another product because I, th I, I don't, how do I, de how do I demonstrate a toilet seat on live TV? And it's not very elegant, is it? So that, that made me, made me think. And then we did um, a, <laughs> a pelvic floor exerciser. And again, no, nothing, nothing wrong with pelvic floor exercises. They're very useful for an awful lot of ladies. I know that. Um, demonstrate by presenter. Even if we had a guest, would you would you demonstrate that? We had um, a gardening section um, called Garden Bargains, and we did um, we did call it uh, the, the Garden Bargains was the gardening program, and the pelvic floor exercises we called it the Lady Garden Bargains. I'm going to get banned again now. Aren't I? I'm going to get banned. I don't get. No, I've never got nervous on live TV, Lisa, because I started in kids TV, which was hilarious. Uh, I'd have things like uh, somebody sent me a pair of sunglasses that they'd made, but they'd just coloured in the, you know, black. So I put them on and fell over. Um, and we'd tell jokes and we'd have amazing guests on, and, and you know, it was it was a really fun place to be. Um, but it wasn't serious. And really, with shopping TV, 99% of the products, it isn't it isn't serious. The serious bit, and this happened both back in the day when I was on Kids ITV and on um, Ideal World or Crate and Craft. The serious bit is when it's Remembrance Sunday and you're linking in to the silence. And there's a script that you have to read out and you just think, I can't get this wrong because if I get it wrong, it's not funny. And I've got to say these lines and I've got to say them properly. And you know, you, you can't trip over your words. You can't make a joke out of it. You've got to deliver one sentence, but you've got to get that right. And that's the only time I've, I've just thought, Right, got to get it right. So now the rest of it, that's it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> oh, there's no no YouTube video of the uh, the pelvic floor exercise. <laughs> I said there probably is. I don't I don't know. Uh, Janet had a raised toilet seat after the hip hop. Yeah, I, so I'm not knocking them. Uh, Mum had one as well, but it was just like, how do you demonstrate? How do you demonstrate that? I don't think I was meant to, to be honest. Right, I'm just going to. So over these lines, and I'm lengthening the stitch to a three, so it's not going to take me forever. So I just thought as well, I haven't got an iron down here. Rita, if you're watching, I haven't lost my iron. I've just left it somewhere. It's down in the house. I haven't unpacked all of my stuff yet um, from the weekend. I'm busy sorting orders out. Oh, and I'm using blue thread and I was going to change it for that one. But never mind, blue thread will be absolutely fine. Honestly. Um, come on. Lower press the foot. It's lowered. Oh, not lowered enough. So I'm just going to sew over all of these lines. Look at this, I was like, it's Debbie, Debbie, Debbie on. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. And oh, I'm going to be banned again for singing. Um, hello, Nikki. They popped up in between. Oh, grot bags. Do you know grot bags? Didn't like children. No, in real life, didn't like children. Don't know what she's like now. I didn't like children then. Um, n oh, no time for tying out, Fiona. No time for tying out at the moment. Maybe next week. 
Gonna get a haircut tomorrow. That's gonna be a bit of time out. That's about it. Um, another product that we had, which was very useful, but I don't know about talking about it for now, was a cable tidy. And you kind of clipped it around all the tables at the tables, the cables at the back of your TV. Brilliant! Brilliant idea. Unless you've got to talk about it for an hour. I oh know, that was very dull. Down you go. So has anybody bought into anything like that? I mean, uh, most of the products they bring you are amazing and great value and they get big brands in and all that kind of thing. But sometimes you get something you think, well, really? really? Sorry, there's a lot of drawing, uh, sewing in straight lines here at the moment. No, Tony, has she? Miriam Margolis? Has she died? I didn't know that. I haven't heard that one. When was that? Oh, that's sad. Or is it Grot Bags herself? Was it Grot Bags the character? Oh. Good name, wasn't it? <laughs> Nikki's Maddie looks a bit squiffy for a first try. <laughs> Make her a friend, Nikki. Keep making her lots of friends until she's not squiffy anymore. Uh, on the 6th of May. Is that the Sunday? Do you know I haven't got my dates right? Uh, that will, yeah, that's going to be seamless Sunday, isn't it? I didn't realise it was on the coronation. We'll get no viewers then, will we? Jane's missing the oven glove instructions. Okay, I shall put, I don't know why, I don't know why they're missing. Um, but I will put them on the Debbie Shaw Sewing website when we're finished here, okay? So if you get debbieshawsewing.com, I'll put them as a free download on the website. And if anybody else comments, can you let them know? It seems like there's a whole batch with instructions missing and I don't know why I'm afraid. Because they've certainly been sent. Where are you going, that one? So I missed a line off there. Oh, Sarah, oh, good. No, I'll, I'll be doing the Sunday, seamless Sunday on the Sunday, so it'll be the 7th. I haven't looked at my dates, I know it's the beginning of May. An easy way, come on, to check if you've made all, uh, sewn all the lines is to look on the back of it. Still got a few to go, so bear with me while I'm sewing straight lines, not the most interesting thing. Oh good, so I hadn't heard anything Daisy about, about her dying, must have been, must have been grot bags. Thank you, Julie. Oh, grot bags. Oh, grot bags passed away. Not so sad there, then. <laughs> love, 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 Miss Markle. Miss Miss Markle. YouTube while I'm on holidays. Oh, Avis, I'm glad to keep you busy. I'm done. Okay, so that's that. I can't iron the lines away, because I ain't got iron. Now, the... Um, the straps on the top of this, these are too long. Um, so I'm going to re-measure them. So I reckon that should be about that long. This is just enough to go over a door handle or maybe hang over um, a uh, hook on the back of the door. And that one needs to be pretty straight. So I'm just going to cut, now that'll pull a little bit. I'm just going to cut a little bit off there. So I'll re-measure those if you're interested. That is now five inches by three and a half, and the long one is 16 inches by three and a half inches. Uh, looks like a perfect size. Um, it is, I can give the measurements again, Rosa. It is 13 by 12 and a half. So this goes on next. So I'm just going to make sure that that is central. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to sew down each side of that because I folded the long sizes to the centre and then in half again. So I just need to sew. I'll just sew down the one side of this one. 
Um, thank you, Julie. So this is the panel. that have still got them on Crate and Craft. There's not very many left. And stuff this a bit. I think I need a new needle. I'm sounding noisy. Let's see if I've got any in here. Any new dangles? No. I'll change it later. I think that's what, what, the, ooh, what the noise is. Where did you come from? We can go in there. Um, and then the little one will sew down the side there as well. Have I done an overnight bag with a half yard club? I think there's a few bags that would be considered as overnight bags on there. Is that the half yard club you meant? Peggy Sue? So now, actually the shorter strap goes on the front, so I'm not quilting the back, so let's just pop that on the front like so, so that's 13 inches, so let's just centralise that up, which is, is that central, one, two, three and a half, no, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, yep, yeah, just about there, and then lift it up a little bit just so it's got a little bit of room and we'll have a couple of clips on there like so so it's so easy there's a quick free bag for oh no i'm not doing it that way putting ends of it like that what am i doing honestly so four inches that way and then no nope, it's going to be less than that let's do five inches and then one, two, three, four, five inches that way. That's the way. That's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. Have I twisted that? No, I'm right. And I'm just going to sew that in place there. Okay. So just sew across the top bit. So I've got that. Um, right. Oh, thank you, Laura. Yes, do have a look at that. Um, I haven't got it here. It's one of the giveaways that I. I don't know who I'm giving it to from the weekend. Um, but if you go to the Half Yard Sewing Club, there is a free tote bag pattern for everybody. You don't have to be a member. So if you're not a member and you want to make it, go and have a look. Have a look around the website while you're there as well. But no obligation to join up. All you need to do is, um, is go to the website and enjoy it. Uh, oh, Peggy Sue's jammed a jukey. Oh, we don't want your jukey jammed, Peggy Sue. Now we're going to sew the top of these two right sides together. So the top of the lining to the top of the bag, just across the top. Oh, I didn't tell you, Valerie, this is um, a, an H640, which is a Valiseline fusible fleece. Um, foot down. So it irons onto the back of the fabric and it's firm enough to give a little bit of stiffness to the bag, give it some shape and some form, but it's very soft and it's easy to sew through too. So that's what I've chosen to use for this one. Just checking my thread, I've got a feeling we're running out. Right, on the back of the bag, where's me at the strap? There we go. This one is going to go in the center, so this time I can fold it in half and make a little snip. So the handles, Patricia, I forgot, I need to measure them again. Um, the smaller one was five inches by three and a half inches, and the longer one is 16 inches by three and a half inches. So I've made a mark in the centre and this time I'm just going to loop that over and have the two pieces next to each other. So I'll just clip in that and again, whoops, so straight across. Like so. Julie's had a lovely day with twin grandsons who are three months old. Oh, three months old. Peepees. And then we'll take the second lining piece and sew these two pieces right sides together. So that's that one in the center. 
and just make sure I've got the, the right way around, and then we'll just sew across the top like this. And I'm just using around about a quarter of an inch seam allowance, or the edge of your presser foot would be fine, doesn't really matter, that's not set in stone, as long as you're consistent. If you're going to put anything heavy in here, then you could back stitch across the top of where the handles join, um, just across the middle bit here, just to make that a little bit stronger. And then we have that. And we have this. And those go right sides together. So just like when we make a bag, we do, we do this a lot. And I'm going to line up the seam at the side here. So... I'll clip that because I haven't got my pin cushion down here either. And pop this in that side and match the seam. I'm not going to clip all the way around it, I just want to make sure those seams match. And then we're going to sew all the way around, but leave a turning gap in one side of the lining. If I remember, Tracy's had a nana nap. <laughs> I like that, nana nap. <laughs> Right, so let's start sewing. I think somebody's laid an egg, can you hear them? I've got four layers out of seven at the moment. So plenty of eggs in the short hours household. Uh, oh, Sarah, yes, please. Now, oh, that would be really helpful, thank you. Um, they, we forgot to, um, I'll carry on saying, we forgot to announce the winner at the end of the six o'clock show on Saturday. So at the beginning of the nine o'clock show, we announced that right at the start, whoever won that one. And that was the bag from, the free bag from the Half Yard Club. So then it would have been at the end of the nine, so beginning of the nine o'clock show and the end of the nine o'clock show, and then the, the end of the 10 o'clock on Sunday and the, two o'clock on Sunday. That would be a really big help, thank you. Because apart from being a, re a really big help, I don't like to sit and watch myself. Do you do that? It's like when you see pictures of yourself and think, oh, what am I looking like? Why did I say that? Why can't I lose some weight? Why oh, not one egg. Oh, really? Chris, not one egg in Asda's? We have more eggs than Asda's, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I really appreciate that. That's a big help. Right, just mashing up those seams at the side. Non in Aldi. Oh, oh, we we get we get. Uh, what did I say? One, two, three, three a day. Three a day. One, two, three, four a day. We get three banties. Turning up. Three banties and the um, the black rocks laying as well. So three banties and a black rock we get. My eggs I did pick some up in Morrison's the other day. Wow, Lisa. Ten pounds in two weeks isn't good, is it? Pies. I'll send you some pies. Um, I'll say the seams first, make sure they match up. Normally do, um, Alan, but um, getting pretty good at matching them these days. Oh, I love the chickens, Taffy. They're, they're so funny. They're getting really, really tame. Uh, chickens and dogs aren't phased by each other. They're interested. In them. But I see, oh, one of them chased Gary down the garden the other day because they they'll come into the house if the doors open um, in the summertime. Um, there's we have the doors open all the time, and I just know they're going to be wandering in. One of them came into the kitchen the other day and, and pooed, pooed in the kitchen. But they're just so tame. And so Gary came out, he'd actually got some, um, some peas for them. <laughs> and he ran down the garden and he got these girls running after him like, give us the peas, give us the peas. We want peas. <laughs> right, let's take this, open up the sides. And I'm just going to feel where the seams are and where they meet. Now, if you want to measure this, then fine. Measure from the stitches, and I'm just going to measure an inch down and sew straight across. I'm not going to measure these because 
I can do that. So just an inch from the top, and then we're going to sew straight across there to make the bug base, but not not too deep. Do you have to have a cockerel with the chickens? They just lay. Really, they ju they just lay. Need a cockerel if you want to fertilise them, obviously. But no, they just they just lay. Um, it's not a natural thing to do, is it? But I think that's what chickens have been bred for. Um, so yeah, they just lay when when they're happy. Um, Lisa, shall we have a chat later? I'll, I'll, I'll drop me drop me an email later. Huh. Um, again, an, an inch across the end. Just make sure they're all the same. We'll do this on the line inside as well. Um, yeah, only when they're happy, though, Re. Only when they're happy. So mine didn't lay because I mean it must be a bit stressful when they're moving house and everything. So I didn't have any eggs for a few weeks, but now I've got I've only got two. But um, but don't lay. So I'm hoping that they will soon. Chickens used to sit in the kitchen while I was baking. Dogs had to squeeze pasta. <laughs> yeah, they're quite brave, aren't they? They're just uh, they're, they've just got so much character. We ha we had chickens when I was um, younger. Um, a lot younger when I was a kid. When when we were at uh, my parents' house, we always had a couple of chickens, only two at a time. But we we, we had. Um, Bertha and Frida and Sid and Ethel and oh I love them they've got so much character they're all so different aren't they? Um, uh, right and then the last one so again just doing the same in all of the corners open them out into the point and sew straight across the base so this is very much like when um, any other bag we make, really. And then we'll chop it off. So let's chop off the corners. Like so. And like no. And then we'll turn it the right side out. So I can't, can't iron it. Can't iron it at the moment. Oh, I know that was in the living room, Lisa. They just wander. Oh, that's a little turning up. That may be bigger in a minute. Hello, Silver and Kissing Me. Uh, let's pull that through. There we go. may take a while because I've made a very small hole. Out you come. And then pull the two sides of the turning up apart. Let me just put my hand in there and turn out the corners first of all. That's it. And then, I told you it was a small turning up. And then we'll just sew the opening closed. As, as I said before, if you're making something to sell or you're making something as a gift, you may want to so this by hand and use a ladder stitch and make it invisible. But I think for most cases, a little stitch seen on, whoop, on the outside would not be a bother at all. That is me just running out of thread. Just as we get into the end, I'll put my new one in. Hello, Linda. Afternoon to you and everyone too. Um, a daffodil. Patricia, it's, it's a very happy fabric, this one, isn't it? Uh, I had uh, Melissa, one of my design team, saying that she had a smile on her face all the time that she was making something. She made the um, the table runner and bags and things for me. I, I love this one. I think it's really uplifting. Again, they have got the complete kit on Crate and Craft. It's not the PMP free deal that, that they did at the weekend, but they do have the Highland and the... Um, the lemons but there's not very many left if you want it so again the complete kit is the instructions and the fabric and uh, sorry the backing fabric and the thermal fleece so when we do it on the website we will be getting the panels on the website on their own hopefully by the weekend they'll just come with instructions and just for anybody that's just joined us here now I will put the instructions for the oven mitts on my website on debbieshawsewing.com as a free download because it seems there have been some missing from the kits. I'm so sorry about that. I've not had that happen before. 
So we, we sent all of these off to a... <laughs> that's a good idea, Helene. Um, we do send these off to a packers because we just haven't got time to do all of that kind of thing. We had so many of them. Um, so I need to look into why oven mitts haven't been included in some of them. But have a look on the website and they will be there. Thank you, Jules. Been very busy with all of these. Right, so we've got this. Sorrento, it does, Nicola. Um, I, I, I was just thinking holidays in Portugal. Um, but yes, yeah, Sorrento and, and anywhere around Europe really, isn't it? That does, that does, that grows lemons. I have put Orophil on Jean. Might have some news for you in five weeks' time. Right. Oh, no, let's do this one. So um, I'm just going to top stitch around the edge. So just make sure the seam's on the end. I can lengthen the stitch again. I've gone up to 2.8 with this one. And so all the way around. And again, if you have just joined, I haven't stitched the front of the bag in red thread. I've used a red uh, heat erasable pen. But I forgot to bring the iron down with me, so I'm stuck with it until I can iron it. So it's quite a simple bag. I mean, you can make this in any size you like. This is quite a nice little size that you could maybe store things in the bathroom at the back of the door. Uh, or nightwear in the bedroom. You could make it out of a, a novelty fabric and have it at the back of the door in the kids' room. It just makes use, I think, of the space at the back of a door, which a lot of the time is just a waste of space. Maybe the back of a chair would work well. But that's, that's the idea with this kind of storage. It's just something to hang. That's why I didn't put a very big base on there. So just something that's quite slim, just to keep things out of the way. There. Oh, Jack is using hers for the camper van kitchen, so summary. That's a nice idea. So that's that. And again, I know he's pressing. So let's push the lining inside there and snip off that thread. Um, like so. And then the top threads through the bottom, the underneath one, and it closes it. So then you can hang it on the back of the door with weighty things in it without it gaping open. Um, and it's just such a really, really simple make. That'd be a nice one for your craft stall as well. And if you weren't watching earlier, that isn't two pieces of fabric. That's the panel where the two different prints join. And I just thought I'd overlap where that panel, uh, where the join was and make the most of that. So even when that's really, really full, because you've got one handle threaded through the other, it's, it doesn't all bag open and gape. Oh, Olive's going to New York in three weeks. Had to cancel Christmas break due to not being able to fly for a while again. So our youngest son. Oh, that'll be nice, Olive. Um, yes, I did, Kathy. I used um, Valiseline um, H640. Thank you. Oh, anything to make you happy at the moment, Lisa. Lemons. I know. I, I love that one. Um, but again, we do have the the height. It's exactly the same. Exactly the same panel, just different design. Um, Thank you for this afternoon, David. Must be shouty. You've talked almost non stop for a whole hour and managed to produce a lovely bag in the process. <laughs> I think I'm just a bit hyper at the moment. Still got lots to do. Um, so, what's up tomorrow? Oh, now that's another thing got to do tomorrow. Um, we have, I don't know, I can't see the trace from the oven. It's going to show a lemon pun. Sandra. Have a look on my website on debbieshawsewing.com. I'm going to put them as a free download. There seems to be a whole batch that doesn't have the instructions for the oven mitts. I don't know why. If you want them posting out, if you want me to print some and post them out, then drop me an email. It's enquiries at debbieshawsewing.com. But if you go to the debbieshawsewing.com website, you'll see the email address there. You can contact me through there and I will have a JPEG sent straight over to you if that's okay. If you want it posting out, then let me know and we'll have them posted out. And meanwhile, I'll put them on the website as a free download anyway. Um, you will need the panel, <laughs> the panel for it. I'll explain that in the, um, in the details as well. Um, no problem. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just sorry about that. That's never happened before, but um, obviously something that I need to look into and address. 
the so long still saturday at four is that this week it is yes thank you laura mm. could have brought it down to show you couldn't i oh need to put the instructions on facebook as well it's a you know, remember we made the book cover um in a live stream <clears throat> excuse me we're going to make one with a zip pocket on the front thanks sarah um let me write that down so along on saturday don't the days go quickly so along this sat at four star honestly um a pj case alana that's a nice idea i shall i should put some thought into that one have i have i joan i don't know I don't know, I'm coming and going at the moment. Have I done that already? It'll be on the, um, I don't think I have on my Facebook page. It will be on the Half Yorker Facebook page, but I don't do that. That's the girls down at, um, uh, down at Search Press that do those. So I'm glad that's on there, honestly. Yes, they are on the Half Yard Sewing Club page. Thank you, Jane. Now that's, that's down to, um, that's down to Claire. So I'm glad she's done that. Um, okay, so that's yep, that's a, a, um, a notebook. Did I put the zip on there? Did I put that you needed a zip? You know, because I write it all down and check it and double check it and send it off, and then then you wake up at three o'clock in the morning thinking, did I actually put a zip on there? Anyway, all oh, right. Oh yes, I'll just let you know as well. I know the coronation is only two weeks away. And so it's the bun thing. The, anybody that's ordered the coronation panels from us, um, we have them now. They're just uh, being packaged with the instructions. So they will be picked up by DPD. It's too late to get one for tomorrow. They'll be picked up by DPD on Friday and they'll be next day delivery. So you'll either get them Saturday or Monday, depending on whether DPD work the weekends in your area. So just to let you know for those, they're, they're all going out on Friday and every one of them, oh, no, Sib, I knew I did that, Jay. Better, better put a footnote. Um, yeah, I know you're all going to want them, obviously, before the coronation as soon as possible. So every one of those is going out DPD, honestly. Right, OK, I shall tootle off and go and put notes on, on websites right now. I think I need a new battery in my mouse. Uh, just check over here that we are OK there. Uh, Okay. Thank you for joining me today. Perhaps not caffeine. Don't do caffeine. I do gin. <laughs> I, was, I started to tell you and then I forgot, didn't I? We've got some new panels coming out. They will be launching on Creative Craft again on the 27th of May. So I'm writing instructions. This is simple, but really lovely panels. So I'm writing instructions for those tomorrow as well. Um, I'll put some thought into it, Linda. We'll do some sums. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I shall, I shall do some sums on that one. The wine. Oh, Lisa, heck. Go get yourself a gin. Uh, hello, Pamela in Benalla. Is that in Australia? Welcome along. Just about to go now. Right, I shall see you on Saturday at 4 o'clock. Thank you for reminding me. I'd have been sat here at 11, wondering where you all were. Um, so I hope, hope you've enjoyed today. Nice little useful bag, isn't it? So I, I, I hope you like it. Make lots of them. Go and sell them. Make yourself some money. Thank you for joining me. I shall see you again on Saturday. Bye-bye.